12x uh, to what? What was the volume growth? We're seeing um, on X, many people think that I think or we think this is a replacement for self-custody. Absolutely not. We are as focused on the importance of decentralization as anyone is out there. Bitcoin is ringing the bell for a new asset class. BlackRock was not so favorably disposed to, to Bitcoin. We're seeing um, on X, many people think that I think or we think this is a replacement for self-custody. Absolutely not. We are as focused on the importance of decentralization as anyone is out there. But in terms of uh, giving institutions exposure, you know, unless they got the the green light from the SEC for the most part, that 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 was critical, and um, they they probably wouldn't even think about Bitcoin. And without an ETF, uh, what we would see in institutions would be major gridlock. You have all these departments and institutions with procurement for a new service provider, finance, uh, uh, compliance, and, and legal. Uh, you'd have so many touch points that it would be a long time, I think, before institutions would get involved. This gives them a, an on-ramp that they understand well it's in uh, uh, an ETF wrapper, which is uh, has been a good wrapper for end clients uh, in our business, and it is now becoming the preferred wrapper. So, if and and Yassine can talk uh, uh, about this in much more detail, but based on our research uh, led by Yassin, the institutional in terms of the price appreciation we expect during the next seven years through 2030, institutional involvement in a new asset class is the number one, the biggest increment to the price we believe. And one of the reasons it is becoming more top of mind for institutions is they are buying into this notion that Bitcoin is ringing the bell for a new asset class. We we did a, a paper with Coinbase with that title in 2016. It's truly a new asset class and institutions cannot dismiss a new asset class. Why? A new asset class typically means low correlation of returns. And it typically means, therefore, increased returns per unit of risk. And so these institutions cannot ignore it. They're competing against one another. Uh, and uh, that is why I think it's going to be uh, a very big deal for this new asset class. Hey, crypto architects. Kathy Wood guided us through the intricate maze of institutional participation, SEC approvals, and the captivating universe of BTF wrappers. In the absence of the SEC's approval, institutions would pivot away from Bitcoin, resulting in a significant gridlock. Picture the finance, compliance, and legal departments engaging in a celestial dance, each with its own checklist. Now, the ETF emerges as a radiant beacon, offering a seamless on-ramp for institutions to enter the cryptosphere. Kathy unveils the secret formula for crypto success, highlighting the pivotal role of institutional involvement and projecting its monumental impact on price appreciation until 2030. Get ready for a whirlwind of insights because this ETF saga is just the opening act. Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and prepare for a prime seat at the forefront of the institutional revolution in the crypto space. Now let's continue our discussion with Kathy. Well, I think that's why everyone's been so excited. They struck a, a, a partnership with Coinbase. That was the first big aha moment because, of course, for a, a time there, uh, the leadership at BlackRock was not so favorably disposed to, to Bitcoin. So that was very big, just that. And I think that happened, Yassin, was that nine months ago, something like that? Might have been longer, uh, more than a year ago, perhaps. Uh, so that got uh, the brain cells going in the institutional world. 
And um, a- another thing did as well, and it was before BlackRock, Cambridge Associates, which um, is a consultant primarily to institutions, I think endowments, foundations, and, uh, and, and pension funds, in 2018 wrote a paper and said, okay, asset allocators, you may not be predisposed to liking this thing called Bitcoin. Uh, But you better uh, study it and develop a a stronger point of view because it does appear to be a new asset class. So since 2000, that's five years now, we've we've had that kind of thought roaming around. And the excuse was, oh, the SEC hasn't hasn't blessed it. Now they'll have no excuse. And, uh, you know, if, if you just talk about 1% of trillions and trillions of dollars or 1% allocation, well, you know, the scarcity value of Bitcoin will shine through uh, next year if uh, institutions do indeed decide they must gain access to this new asset class. One of the state treasurers to whom we've been talking, he said he, he has a sense of urgency about him. Uh, in in terms of making this decision, and he mentioned the happening, and it's like, wow, state pension plan treasurer knows about the happening. That is really interesting. Uh, so, sense of urgency uh, in in one regard, but I'll go back to the institutional kind of gridlock that there can be in decision making from compliance departments, or you know, legal or you know, the, the procurement uh, uh, side of the firm. So lots of, lots of touch points there. Uh, and would agree with, uh, with Yassine, there's been a lot of anticipatory moves in terms of buying Bitcoin ahead of this. And you'll often get in our business, they'll call, they'll, they'll call the trade a sell on the news. So that you'll get hedge funds buying into, hedge funds and other investors, buying into a, an event that they think will happen. And when it happens, it's just a sell signal for them, just then on to the next thing for them. So you, we, we might see a little bit of that, but enough people are talking about that now then maybe it won't be as big a deal as it might have been otherwise. Thank you for joining us today on this insightful journey into the world of crypto and investing. If you found value in today's discussion and want to stay updated on future crypto news and market insights, don't forget to hit subscribe button below and click the notification bell. By subscribing, you'll be part of our growing community, gaining exclusive access to timely analyses and strategies. I look forward to having you with us in the next video. 